about the purple reading level, um, something to be paying attention to is that they are continuing to focus on genre study, um, but there is really an emphasis on the fact that their vocabulary should really be increasing. If they're not reading in multiple different genres, then they're going to really start to struggle and have comprehension issues because both the academic vocab load and the unfamiliar genre constructs are going to force their hand at comprehension. So just really important that with this level, um, we are not having students develop a habit of reading that they are not comprehending what is going on. So really drilling down into the genre, having them try different genres that they haven't before, using those genre skill cards to make sure that they are in fact um, understanding the constructs of the genre that they're in. So remember the cold reads are important. Here are some um, book lists to help you go through your library to try and find ones that might be helpful for, for students. And then I also found this really great video um, about secondary students talking about the reading and um, their power goals, which is something that Erla really focuses on. So like students are aware of what they're working towards. That should be something you're having conferences with them about. Um, and so just listen to their talk around that, that they know where they're at and where they're going and what they are currently working on. As I jump into the module, you'll notice that there are some um, Latin roots and prefixes, some vocabulary from some of the skills cards, and you still have the genre um, wheel. I need to grab that real quick. This does force a copy for the new one. It's not the same as the orange. I mean, it is the same as the orange, but it does have a different cover. It still has all of the same genres. You're still working towards reading new and different genres and understanding how one genre different, differs from the other. So it does have a different color. The buttons are not orange anymore. They're now purple, so a student can feel like they've graduated to a new level, but it is pretty much still the same. They're still working through as many different genres as possible. Really encourage them if they're too either orange or purple that they're focusing. It's hard. I know it's hard because, like, personally, I love to read science fiction, but there comes um, a time where I need to be able to try these other genres, understand what make them um, a part of that genre, the constructs of that genre, so that um, so that I can just have a better comprehension if I am asked to read them in class. Um, for choice, fun reading, I know that I might not choose them on my own, but it is important that this time frame that students have access to them so that they can better understand them. Okay, so same as all of the other modules, um, you've got your... Um, reader's response journal that they need to turn in to pictures um, per week. Again, you can change that if that doesn't work for you. The reader's response journal questions, depending on what genre they are reading, there are questions that they can answer for each specific genre. So that's the same for orange or for purple. So if I'm reading a mystery book, then I want to use the mystery genre card and pick one of these questions to write about in my reader's response journal. Um, hopefully, they are doing a reader's response journal at the end of every time they read. And so there will be plenty of evidence in the module um, in these specific ERLA assignments for you to be able to say, okay, I think you are ready to test out of purple, for example. Um, the literature and information responses are actually coming from the purple skills card not the genre. So I think that that's kind of unique to the orange and purple section, um, that they've got all of these different genre questions that can be answered in their response journals, read response journals, but their actual test out literature responses and information responses will come from the skills card. So there's a lot of cards in general to be paying attention to in both the orange and purple modules. So, um, Again, your choice as a teacher if you want to print some of these cards out or if it works okay for your students to use the digital version. That's totally up to you. Um, I know in elementary they have a lot of those skills cards printed out. I've never actually talked to a teacher that's using the purple and orange and to know how, um, maybe I'll look into that, how they manage, how a student manages all the different cards. Usually they have like a reader's response journal and they have a folder where they keep all of that in like a little bin that they keep all of that information in. So maybe they really are printing out every single genre card. That just seems like a lot for a little 
fifth or sixth grader to pay attention to. So um, I think the digital version works here. In the purple videos, again, it's a reiteration of all those genre videos and also context clues and building academic language and helping readers understand uh, in our writing as well. So if there's more videos I can change, if some of the way that this functions doesn't work, please let us know.